Good evening from Dollywood Theme Park. It's Ryan. And Brie. And on today's video, we're going to try out a number of different festival foods. Our goal in today's video is to grab a tasting pass. We'll show you how the tasting pass works. We're gonna try a bunch of different things around the park for dinner tonight and let you know at the end what our favorite items are and answer the question, is the tasting pass worth it for the I Will Always Love You Festival? We'll also be checking out some ride wait times. We had a lot of rain today, so we'll see what the crowds are like on this Friday night. So without further ado, let, let the, the adventure, adventure begin. begin. When we arrived here, there was hardly anyone in the parking lot, and I can tell right now this place is gonna be empty. It's gonna be open for the next two and a half hours. Since it's just the two of us, the kids are at home resting, there's no way we're gonna be able to eat everything that we get, so we do have some Ziploc bags to bring home anything we don't wanna finish here. I got my pass pulled up and we're gonna scan in. We definitely got a lot of rain today as these two ducks are racing their way under the bridge. Who's gonna be the winner? I'm going with the green one. Oh. oh! He's a good man. He stopped so his wife could get a snack. Which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get a couple snacks, try some good stuff, stick my pass under here. Did it take it? There we go. Now that we've made it into Dollywood, there are not that many people here, but let's show you what they have here at the Show Street ice cream real quick. They have this strawberry cheesecake milkshake and a raspberry cookies and cream, each of these coming in at $8.99. I think we're gonna go get some actual dinner, but these are options for dessert. I'm telling you, this is the time to be here. No one is in line. We could get a tasting pass right here, but we're actually gonna keep working our way to a festival booth to get our first food item. They have this new Dolly's Delight with chocolate, coconut, caramel, and almonds. Since there's nobody in line for the bakery, we wanted to come over here and show you some of the festival items real quick. They've got a Cherish the Cupcake, a Red Velvet Rose Cupcake, and a White Chocolate Strawberry Cupcake. These are $6.49. Also a strawberry cannoli. Now that we've checked out the bakery and the ice cream shop, let's work our way to our first set of festival booths. Before we get to the festival booths, I did want to point out the Front Porch Cafe and show you everything on their menu. You're welcome to pause the video, but this is probably your best option in the park if you're looking for vegan, vegetarian, or gluten-free options. We're gonna work our way around here to the left. So let's show you all the festival options available here. They have a turkey pot roast potato for $13.99, a hogback tater. We're gonna be trying out this spinach and artichoke dip potato. We're gonna use a tasting pass scan on that. And I also have this I Will Always Love you punch for $4.99. So we picked up a tasting pass. It costs $40.97 after tax. It's going to come out to $44.29 after tax if you don't have a pass. This pass now enables us to have five different festival food items and it doesn't expire until the end of the festival on April 14th. So we can use all five of our scans tonight, which is what we'll probably do, or we could spread it out over multiple visits. You just got to make sure you use it up by the 14th. What is it we got again? It's got spinach and artichoke dip, fresh tomatoes, and Parmesan cheese. It sounded different, unique. Well, let's pray real quick and thank God for our food before we try all this good stuff. We thank you for all this food we're about to have. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Clink. Clink. <laughs> let's try this out. Gotta make sure I get enough cheese on here. Absolutely. You gotta, gotta get, get a tomato. A, yeah, you gotta have a tomato. All right, that little, we're going, we're that a little, little fresh pop. Tomato in the mix here. I like it. I don't know that I'm like, I love it. <laughs> so it's a little different potato to try. I'm used to having cheddar cheese and sour cream. So it's a fun, different potato to try. If you're a big fan of baked potatoes, you might want to try this one. They had at one of the other festivals, they had a potato with chicken and barbecue sauce mm -hmm. and cheddar cheese. We did like that one a lot. That's my favorite. This yep. is not better than that, but it is good. As Brie is working on the baked potato, I'm going to walk over to the market square here. Let me show you what they have. Chicken and smoked sausage succotash skillet for $12.99. We had this smoky corn chowder the other day. This was really good. I think we gave it a 8 out of 10. I think it would have got a 9 if it had a little more cheese, but this is really good for $9.99. And they have this peanut butter hot chocolate for $6. I was really wanting to try it, 
but they were out. I think they do have it, so I might save that for later in the night and let you know how the peanut butter hot chocolate is. On this side of the market square, they have the potato tornado, which they typically have here, along with the twisted dog for $13.99. We're gonna try out their fried potato chips. They're $13.99, or we're just gonna use a scan on those. Thank you. These look really good, loaded with bacon, cheese sauce, ranch dressing, and scallions. There we go. Ooh, those look delicious. The potato chips in these almost kind of remind me of like a very thick Pringle. They have that kind of taste to them. I don't know if my expectations were a little too high, but I'm not sure I like the the type of chip being used. We really love the nachos at Jason Aldean's in Gatlinburg, mm -hmm. and I feel like maybe that's where my expectations were. I felt I like I wanted them a little to. more crispy. Mine was crispy, but really? it just Mine was... was not. So overall, I do like them. I could sit here and enjoy them with you. I'm trying to think what number would I give it. Wait, what are we giving the potato? We didn't. We didn't give it a number. So potato, I'm gonna give it a six on the potato. What do you got? I think I would give it, a, yeah, a six. So what would you give the chips? I think I'd give the chips a seven. I like this better than the potato. I don't think it's better than the corn chowder. So I just had another chip and it wasn't very crispy. It's probably like the first one you had. Yeah. I think the cheese sitting on them, they, it takes away the crisp very fast. So I think if you order these, you need to eat them right away. I just feel like the biggest takeaway from these that kind of takes down the score is the chips. Yeah. I feel like if the chips were freshly made and had some kind of a little more flavor to them because they, they look really basic. If you look at the chip, there's really no like seasoning or I don't know how much they've been salted or seasoned. I think if they had a little more seasoning and were freshly cut and made, this would probably take it up a number or two. Now that we've tried some food from the Market Square, we could head over here to the Funnel Cakes and grab one of the Festival Funnel Cakes. But I think we'll save the Funnel Cake for later as a few people are headed up on the Lightning Rod right now. Bree's tempted to go hop on the Lightning Rod. I might. But you would be riding solo on that one. What? I don't think I'm gonna hop on the Lightning Rod tonight. <laughs> I still need to do Fire Chaser Express. <laughs> Oh, come on, just go big or go home. No, I don't know about that big. <laughs> Not yet. Another option you can take advantage of is Aunt Granny's. It comes out to $26.99 for adults and $10.99 for kids. Here's a look at your main dishes and side dishes as well as desserts. They do have two festival special desserts right yep, now. The peanut butter pie parfait as well as the white chocolate cranberry bread pudding. But there's a quick look at the menu at Aunt Granny's and just around the corner here past Dolly's Tennessee Mountain Home. We come to our next festival booth which has smoked bologna burnt ends for $12.99 a braised chuck roast and potatoes, as well as a barbecue chicken melt for $14.99. And they do have a hot cranberry tea. Are you thinking we should try both of these two? Yeah. You've got the tasting <laughs> pass, scan away. Scan away. These are definitely the largest portion sizes we've gotten all day. We're gonna find a seat over here because there's plenty of seating with not too many people in the park right now. We're gonna start out with the sandwich, which is ginormous. It's a huge portion. It looks ooey and gooey. Lots of cheese and looks like, what's that, onions? Onions and chicken, barbecue chicken. I don't think you can pick it up, to be honest. I'm pretty terrified to try to pick this up. It's gonna go everywhere, so I think we're gonna go with the fork. fork. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this out here. Mm. The chicken is cooked well, it's not overdone, it's, it's moist. It's got the barbecue sauce, the cheddar cheese is really good on there, and the onions. I like it. I'm gonna try a bite with some coleslaw. Mm, that's a good idea. I actually really like this. Do you? I, will, I will say I like this better than the chips we just got at the Market Square. The portion size is huge. I could see you and I taking this and sharing this along with maybe one of the desserts. I like it too. It's definitely unique, the combination with the cheese and the barbecue chicken and the onions have a unique flavor to them. So we're gonna set this aside. It's really good, but we wanna make sure we have room to try a number of different things. I will tell you though, when you get one of these I Will Always Love You Festival Guides, when you open it up, right here is the braised chuck roast. So they're putting it front and center. We now have it front and center. <laughs> I'm excited to try this. The portion size on this 
is fantastic. So that is really good. What do you think? I agree. I think that's excellent. You can tell the chuck roast has been braised for a good amount of time. It's tender. It's delicious. The mashed potatoes are actually seasoned perfectly, which is hard to find at places. So I really like this with the little onion crispies on top. Excellent bite. Hold on, the train is coming. <laughs> we'll be back with you in just one moment. I really enjoy this. If you are coming here between now and April 14th, and you've got some hungry kids, or you and a spouse want to come and sit down and have a nice, hearty meal, I think this might have just took the number one slot for me. As far as savory item, we got some sweet stuff we still need to try. Absolutely. But I love the flavor. The portion size is fantastic. It's $15, but if you're a pass holder, you will get a discount, or you can use it, one of your scans on your tasting pass. I, yeah. I like the barbecue sandwich, too. Yes, I think, I, think I think this, this is, is number one. Yeah, I think this is number one. I think the barbecue sandwich is number two. two. So. Corn chowder behind that. Corn chowder behind that. So the fun. chips and the baked potato. Yep, yep. We just noticed that they closed down the festival booth we were at to get these. So we don't want to miss out on showing you a few more things. So we're going to bag and tag these two excellent meals and see what else we can find around the park. Currently no line for dogs and taters if you're looking to just grab a hot dog or corn dog during this festival. As the train has just left the station, we're going to go up here to the Iron Horse Pizza real quick, which looks like they've already closed down for the day. Mm -hmm. But we'll show you what they are serving here real quick. Here at the Iron Horse Pizza, they do have a grilled chicken and sausage flatbread, as well as an anti-pasto salad shaker, which we've gotten at other festivals. So if you like pizza and you want to come over here and use your tasting pass on either of those two items, you can. Let's work our way up to the grist mill real quick. So over here to the right is a place you normally can get festival food, which is Miss Lillian's Barbecue Corner. It's currently closed down at the moment as they're doing renovations on Miss Lillian's barbecue. We're not sure exactly when the renovations will be complete, but we'll keep an eye on it and keep you posted as to when you can come back to Miss Lillian's barbecue. You can also come over and get some cinnamon bread at the grist mill. Just keep in mind, you can't use a festival tasting pass on items like cinnamon bread, which the line for cinnamon bread is pretty much non-existent at the moment. Since Miss Lillian's barbecue is closed down, they have this Miss Lillian's flatbread, which they closed down early tonight. The park closes in about 45 minutes, but you can come over here and get a chicken or a steak flatbread. We have had some people tell us that they really enjoyed the flatbreads here. So we'll have to come back and try that on a different day. You can see the line for Hickory House Barbecue is non-existent right now. They have all your traditional barbecue foods up here, including the gobble till you wobble turkey leg for $15.99. And they do have a slow roasted stuffed squash for $12.99, you can use your tasting pass on this item. Whatever festival food you get, this is a great place to come and sit and relax and listen to the eagles and watch them fly around in there. And they did move the drinks from where the line is over to the side, so it should be a little easier to refill your drinks and get in and out of the Hickory House line. But let's work our way up to Wildwood Grove and check out what Till and Harvest has. There's no wait time to hop on to Blazing Fury at the moment. Let's see if we can check out some other ride wait times up ahead. As we come back to the corner right here by the Tennessee Tornado, I just want to show you the food trucks that are currently back here during the festival. All three of these have been here at Dollywood between Bustin Barbecue Tacos across the pond, which is gonna have some gluten-free options and the Sugar Queen, which has some pretzels you can get back here. Again, it is a Friday night. It is 7.20, the park closes in 40 minutes. And Bree and I could hop on 
just about any ride we want to right now. So which one are we hopping on, Ryan? Uh, Big Bear? Big Bear? <laughs> Well, let's go see uh, what Big Bear looks like. Okay. I'm not making any promises. So back here at Splinters, they have all the standard things that you can get here. Their regular funnel cake. You cannot get the festival funnel cake. You have to get that up front. And right next to Splinters, you have the Dog House, which has a Fire Chaser Express mac and cheese dog. A lot of things that dogs and taters has, but they also have for $14.99, this Wild Eagle Mac and Cheese Bowl. I have not tried that. I'll have to come back and give that a try one of these days. And they have the Wilderness Lodge area closed off for a brand new restaurant that they're working on. We'll keep you updated if we hear any more of what type of theming and food they'll have here. As we work our way into Timber Canyon, Bree is trying to encourage me to hop on Big Bear Mountain with her. Let's check out the food at Till and Harvest first. They're not here for the rides, they're here for the food. They're like, I clicked on this video to see food. Don't be taking me off I, on a ride. I just might have to, you know, jump on a little ride in between. Listen, I'm here to give the people what they want. They want the food. That's it, that's it, that's your excuse. <laughs> Till and Harvest doesn't have anything special for the festival, all their standard stuff, but this is another great option for you if you're looking to get something customized to be gluten-free or vegan or vegetarian, they have a lot of options here for you. And here at Sweets and Treats, they have a lot of the standard hot dogs, nachos. So we just noticed this Ned trapped his favorite bear cone. So it's an edible ice cream cone for $9.99. So we might have to come back and try that out one of these days. We were eyeing Big Bear, possibly hopping on it, but we also kept an eye on the clock here and we're gonna run out of time and not be able to get back to get that funnel cake. We have saved some room for dessert, so we're gonna head over and try the festival funnel cake, which saved the day from me getting on a roller coaster. I think we have time to go grab it and then we run back. We'll see, we'll see. Listen, it's like swimming. You don't want to get on a coaster 30 minutes. You gotta wait at least 30 minutes, right? Isn't that how it works? I just realized we took pictures of the ride wait times, but I forgot to get a video. I'll just put it this way. There's pretty much no wait on anything right now. We got one more t scan on our tasting pass, so that's gotta be the priority, Bree. I'm sorry. <laughs> People want the food. They're here for the food. If we can't make it, we can just run a lightning rod. Uh, that's definitely no. We could make it back here to the whistle punk chaser. That's total, no. that's, that's doable. I just want to point out here at Lumberjack's Pizza, they have the same ingredients on a regular pizza here. I think it's a flatbread over at the Iron Forge Pizza. They also have some Coca-Cola freestyle machines at this location. As we've made it up front, there's hardly anyone in line at the bakery. We could go get one of those cupcakes or treats in there. They also have the strawberry cheesecake milkshake and the raspberry cookies and cream here at the ice cream shop. But I think that funnel cake is calling our name. There's about 18 minutes left until the park closes down. Hopefully they didn't close down the funnel cakes early. Nope, I see it, it's still open. We have arrived to our destination. Here's a look at the strawberry crunch funnel cake. It's got strawberry and cheesecake flavors that combine with white chocolate sauce and are topped off with whipped cream and a strawberry crunch. So not only did we get the strawberry cheesecake funnel cake goodness that looks fantastic, I also was able to get the peanut butter chocolate hot cho peanut butter peanut some, butter hot chocolate the peanut butter and chocolate concoction that they have right here at the market square so super excited to try the, both of these i love all things cheesecake cheesecake is so good i like the cheesecake strawberry fluff on top i like the funnel cake i like all of the components but for me all of it together you already know what i'm gonna say 
No, I don't. It's it's too too sweet. much. She likes things not as sweet as I do. I like it a lot, but I can see where she's gonna say it's too much, too sweet for her. I'll pick at this in individual pieces, <laughs> meaning I'll have a little funnel cake and a little bit of the cheesecake stuff, but all of it together is just sugar overload. It's currently 7:54. I would not recommend getting this at this time of day for your kids because if you go back to your cabin and they are not going to bed anytime soon. Yep. There's a lot of sugar in this thing. So let's try out the peanut butter chocolate. Peanut butter hot chocolate. Peanut butter hot chocolate. You're going to love it. It's oh like, yeah, there's the peanut butter. It hit me. It's like a Reese's peanut butter cup in a drink. I like things that are rich and have depth of flavor, and I like sweet, but that's too sweet for me too. If you like Reese's, it's fun to try. I would probably share it with somebody. I don't know that I can drink the entire thing, but I'm glad I got it just to try it. So now it won't be, every time I see the sign, I'm like, what does that taste like? Now I know. <laughs> so Dolly has officially sung her get out of the park song. We are working up to the front. I don't know if the ice cream shop will still serve, but we'll check to see if it is still open. We'll try to grab a milkshake on the way out. This is the first time I've used this camera at night. So I'm not sure how the footage is, but hopefully it looks pretty good right now. Hop in here and see if we can still grab one of these strawberry cheesecake milkshakes real quick. All right, we got one more thing to try for you guys. The strawberry cheesecake milkshake so we have used all our tasting pass scans so we're just gonna buy this for $8.99 and use our pass holder discount the total for the milkshake with our discount was seven dollars and ninety six cents after our pass holder discount so the tasting pass is a lot better to use on items like that braised chuck roast that's coming in at fifteen dollars so here's a look at our milkshake let's give it a try mm. Mm. I gotta get some of these crumbs on top. Mm. I definitely like this more than the funnel cake. <laughs> you wanna try it, right? You gotta try the stuff on top. It's like whipped cream with graham crackers and like a strawberry syrup. Let me try this stuff on top real quick. That just took first place for me. In the Fun sweets category? Yeah, funnel cake was good. The peanut butter chocolate was fun to try. This is number one. If you're coming here and you're looking to get a sweet treat, that's the move right here, the strawberry cheesecake milkshake. So the best of the fest for us was the braised chuck roast for savory and the milkshake for sweet item. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed checking out the food. Let us know down in the comments what you would like to try the most, or if you've been here, what you enjoyed the most. If you found this video helpful, do us a favor, just hit the like button down below and make sure you're subscribed for more Dollywood videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Oh, gotta work through this water. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of water. And I'll let you know, oh, there's some water. Slosh. More water, lots of water. <laughs> Hot and chuck, what's the difference? Hot roast could be a chuck roast or a shoulder roast, but they're all pot roast. Gotcha. <laughs> there is the braised chuck or <laughs> I'm gonna get. Braised chuck roast. I know. <laughs> Cart. Video on. Cart gone. Video on. Cart. Are we in the wrong place to sit? <laughs> Good lighting. All right, video on. <laughs> There's a whole conversation going on back over here. <laughs>